What is up, my veggies? My name is VTR, and welcome back to yet again another movie review. And today, we are going to be reviewing um, The Lost World Jurassic Park, um, which is the second movie in the Jurassic Park franchise. And going into this one, I had very low expectations because I heard a lot of bad about it and everything like that. And I'd so I didn't know what to expect going into this one. All I remembered about this one was really the T-Rex at going through San Francisco or San Diego. Sorry, San Diego or whatever. Yeah, San Diego. Um, and that's the only thing I remember about the movie from, from watching it. Uh, and I also remember the, uh, the infant T-Rex. That's, that's the main things I remembered. But with that being said, this movie, though is kind of, it's definitely, okay, so what's the story real quick? I wanna, I wanna try to freaking say this, these from now on, cause I always forget. A lot of people told me I should probably uh, do that. So obviously Jurassic Park is the sequel, Jurassic Lost World is the sequel to Jurassic Park, which um, Ian Malcolm, uh, Jeff, Bo Jeff Goldblum's character is back and he's, why did I have to go to this island that's got more dinosaurs on it that were put there uh, where they were actually created? I think it's that what they say. And because his girlfriend's there and he wanted to make sure she's safe. He's like, hey, why the heck did you do this? And then obviously Jurassic Park. And, and there's a whole bunch of like, these poacher type guys and these people wanting to make a new Jurassic Park theme park. And it, it's, it's a very, it's very complicated at points. But like... That's where the movie does fall off there is where the the kind of the motivation of like the, the villains of the of the movie and everything and what they're trying to do. It's it's definitely um the weak point of the movie. But I think the best thing to do for this movie is to jump on the positives first. Because there's a lot of fun to be had with this movie. I think still the CG still looks pretty good. Um, the practical effects look spot on. I think the, the practical effects are really darn good in this movie. I think they look great. Um, I think it's just a lot of fun of a concept. Um, now the thing is the location is, some people are just doesn't feel that different because, but I think I like the park setting better than the, um, just being out in the jungle. I like the park setting better, and definitely this movie could have been shorter. I don't normally say that a lot because a lot of the time I don't complain about runtime. Um, like that's never really a complaint with me that much. But this movie, like I felt it. Um, I'm like, suppose it's got two endings. I'm like, okay, this feels like a wrap. Oh, there's still like forty minutes of the movie left. Um. So I'm like sitting there like, what the heck? There's like 40 minutes of this movie left. What else is there to do? Um, or 30 minutes, something like that. Uh, like, you're like sitting there like, what else is there to do? And then they cut to more stuff. It's like, oh, this is okay. And I can't really lie because the seeing the dinosaur of uh, the T-Rex going around in the city uh, and in suburban areas and all that is really nice. That's why I'm really looking forward to Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, seeing dinosaurs and those—that's why I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but um, this one, though, is very much a different type of um, movie. I think to the first one, even though it, was, it hit a lot of the same beats. Um, I do like that Jeff Goldblum's character, uh, Ian Malcolm, I think is his name. I think I already said that twice, but uh, he is a good lead. I do like watching him, and I understand his frustrations. But the movie is uh, brought, brought down with its villain plot. It's being a little lengthy and just not overall as enjoyable as the first movie. But I do not agree that the fact that this movie deserves a 53% on Rotten Tomatoes from critics and 51% from audience. I think it's a little better than that. I don't think it's up to, it's definitely weaker in comparison, but I don't necessarily think this movie is 
that bad. There is some definitely some stinker parts of this movie, but for the most part, I am enjoying what I'm watching. I want to see it. Oh, oh, one of the biggest things I did not like about this movie. Like, it's probably my biggest gripe with the movie. Um, there's a little girl character in the movie um, who is Ian Malcolm's daughter. Her name is Kelly. I don't like her. She is annoying throughout the whole movie. Like, she is a whiny, um, complaining, screaming, just not the, nothing about that character. It, she doesn't really add much to the story. There's nothing, um, and then his girlfriend, um, Ian Malcolm's uh, uh, girlfriend, I don't remember her name, it was like Sarah, I think. She adds a little bit to the, there's nothing like really much about her that's like, um, big deal. And then you've got like these other characters that like, there's like this guy that's this that's with them. I don't really know what his role is, to be honest. Like kind of after they get back on the, the mainland, he's like gone from the entire story. Like, okay, okay he just up and disappears. Um, gosh, I'm starting to see a lot more <laughs> bad things about this movie as I say it all out loud. Uh, and also it's like kind of two-ish villains, like this hunter guy who wants to, uh, to uh, hunt the um, dinosaurs, but then like winds up being like, no, nah, messing with these things was a bad idea, blah, 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 at the end, or something like that. His philosophy changes at the end of the movie, or not the end, but like when he leaves the movie, because he leaves the movie and there's like this little wimpy um, guy that's kind of like the the main antagonist, I don't know. I don't know if you can call him an antagonist, but it's definitely not what I wanted to sit through. Uh, with the And it's... It's just one thing that really bothers like the money, uh, the money hungry um, characters can be done well. I've seen them done well in multiple movies, but here, like the money hungry characters are not like things that are, I'm like, oh, these guys are these guys are uh, actually good villains, and like I was like, I really just didn't. What I think could have made this movie a lot better is that they just focused on like them going there and then getting attacked by the dinosaurs and then having to get back off the island. That's pro and probably left could have left out the entire um San Francisco scene. Maybe could have brought that back in some uh, in the in a different movie. Uh, even though I really like it, I do like the seeing the T-Rex walk around and everything and destroy crap. I do like that. I like watching that. That is the probably the most entertaining part of the movie. Um, but, but with that being said, it also brings up some issues with the fact that obviously it could have ended without that. And it didn't really need that. This movie could have been... I get it. The first movie was two hours long. This one's got to be two hours long as well, I guess. Um, but it's it's legit just extremely um, dragged at points. Um, there's... I don't normally... Because um, I don't see the Jurassic Park franchise as horror. Uh, thriller, maybe. This one does have some very much horror seen like elements I would say but I really don't cast classify the Jurassic Park franchise as horror um thriller maybe but there is I, I gotta talk about the kills me being a um horror guy and there are, there are a lot of them here that like it's like there's one dude that literally gets ripped in half uh by two T-Rexes and I'm like whoa y'all just did that um and it, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. I don't know what really to, else to say about the, the movie's interesting. Do I think it deserves such a low rating? No, but I, I don't hold up the same standard. I hold the original. 
So I will give it a three out of five, I think is a good solid ground to put this movie at. I think it is something that a lot of people will still enjoy watching the franchise. I'm scared for three, but I did like this one. I don't think it's legitimately bad. I think a lot of people, um, um, but one thing I will say, the CG at points, like, I remember one specific scene uh, that didn't look the be right to me. It just was, like, really one shot, but, like, that's the only thing with the CGI that really was, like, ooh, did, did you, should, did you sure you should have done that? that? That's the only part that's... Uh, but this, that, I still think the movie looks good. I don't... I, I think it still holds up. I think... Um, it's definitely not as good as the first, but I think that this is an enjoyable film. And I think that if you are a Jurassic Park fan, you probably still enjoy this movie. I don't think it's bad. Let me know what you guys think though that on the comments. I'm very curious to know what you guys think. Uh, we will be jumping into Jurassic Park 3. Um, there I do. Uh, because literally in just a couple days, um... Though, as recording, Jurassic World Dominion comes out, and I still gotta get through uh, three more movies, so wish me luck getting through those. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!